Welcome to the preview of the FA Cup final. Manchester United is going to be a repeat from last season of Manchester United versus Manchester City. Or as Man City versus Manchester United. It's going to be a neutral ground at Wembley. So it doesn't matter who is it against. It's, the fact is, it's against Manchester United playing Manchester City. Now, here's a few things we need to take into consideration. And this game may... Or I should say, no, this game may actually be the deciding factor as to what will be the fate of everything I got Manchester United. This game might be the fit. Like, we finish eighth place, okay? We finish out of the six, out of top four. And we didn't, there's a good, I don't think we got any uh, European qualifications or if we might were in the conference league, which is an embarrassment. This, this is low. This is a low hanging fruit qualification. We should not be qualifying for the Europa, the Europa League number one or the Europa Con Con Conference League. It's, we should not be doing that. So, because we have done that and we're in the FA Cup final, person may see this as, a, as grounds for everything Hawk to, you know, save his own fate last minute for next season. I've said this before. Van Gaal got sacked, finishing six. I think we finished six, and he won us the FA Cup in May of 2016. This Bergingo finished two places below that, and we're in the FA Cup final, and we don't even know if we're going to win the final. So let's take it from two perspectives here. If we go win the FA Cup, he may still get sacked anyway, so it's not much of a, a you know, as a, 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 a what, you, what you call, you no, know, as much of a, you know, browning point to gain in him staying for next season. Because him go get, him, if, if, if he wins it, and the fact that we go finish 8th place, it's not like FA Cup going to, you know, give us Champions League qualification like the European League. It doesn't. It doesn't. You see me? So, the fact is... It's a trophy to win, yes, but it just it does just it just doesn't quantify him for stay next season. And the second route is if him go lose it, definitely him go get sacked. He go get sacked, man. You know this guy praised in press conference. Say, yes, you are in a, you know we're in a, another FA Cup final, and uh, if you look through the history of Manchester United, there haven't been in much FA Cup finals, and we have been in two FA Cup finals in two years since I've been at this club. So uh, since I've been at this club, I've been in two FA Cup finals. So you show me respect. You give me my respect, dude. This is I've, I've said this before. This is not Arsenal. We don't not, we don't praise FA Cup triumph. That's for Arsenal fans. They're like the kings of FA Cup. They win it a good amount of times. More than us, actually. They, believe it or not, they have won more FA Cups than us. Because we have won more prestigious trophies than them. And we're not going to compare. We're not going to measure trophies here. But the fact is, if you want to go praise winning FA Cups or being in FA Cup final, go to Arsenal. I know Arsenal are not going to want it. So the fact is, if him go win the FA Cup, the mere fact that we go finish 8th place and it doesn't guarantee, it doesn't, not guarantee, it doesn't give us qualifications in Champions League, means uh, this Britain goal still gets, he's, he's, there's a good chance he still can get sucked, even if he wins the FA Cup. The next route is that even if him go lose, that's, that's just, it's like negative 2 plus negative 2. It's not going to give you a positive 2. It's going to still give you negative it's going to give you a negative score, which is negative four. And I'm not even good at maths. So if you go think, say, winning the FA Cup, go, you go give him grounds to, to stay at Man United. Possibly not. And definitely if him go lose it, that's just him deep, you know, dry, you know, you know uh, sinking deep in hot water. It's not going to really save him at Manchester United. You see, um, a, few th a few pointers. This game is going to be the last game for Martial and Luke Shaw. Here's a funny thing. This is what I find funny. Luke Shaw has been most out of the season with injury. You know, this bridging will get called for England in Euros. What's up with that, man? 
So this Bridging has been low-key fit. But he does want to play for Manchester United. He's been getting that 295, I think it's 190k per week bug. And he has not been playing games for Manchester United. Now this guy go go on t Rose to play for England. Yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even consider him in the squad, bro, for that FA Cup final tomorrow. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't do that because that's that's some snakes. That's a snake move. But yeah, he uh Marcel tomorrow will, tomorrow will be Marcel's last game. He'll be he'll be playing in that game. Whether he starts, we are come off the bench. He'll be getting minutes in that game. Best believe. Van will definitely will definitely will definitely will de I will never I will never get it right will definitely be playing because yeah th that would be his last game as well martinez as a starter i'm not sure because he had a minor injury against uh brighton away from home so we look into that and i'm not going to watch a press conference because i can't stand everything of listening that, that dude bores me man bored the, the dude is bored man but um yeah so this is a game for some play some players are motivated they think that this is like a last dance for them at the club so this could be a driving motivator for them to actually put out their best performance you see me and honestly honestly um i'm getting distracted give me a second okay honestly um I don't see us beating Man City, bro. Let let us let us let us be realistic right here. I do not see us beating Manchester City in the FA Cup final come tomorrow, and this is not coming from a place of negativity, but being realistic. If you go beat Man City to tomorrow, they didn't show up on the day to, and they didn't show up on the day tomorrow. That's it. That's that's the that's the only reason we can beat them. But the fact is. This is one of Man City's worst seasons. Let's be real and let's be clear. Let me let me make be, let, let, me, let me make this clear. They out of the FA Cup. No, that, that's right. They out of the Carabao Cup. They got knocked out by Newcastle in the, in in this in the first game in that competition. They got knocked out of the Champions League by Real Madrid, which some of them are still sour over in the in the, in the penalty shootout, which they're still sour over. And they have won the, the Premier League. They're not going to only want to win the Premier League. Because by Pep's standard, that is below his belt. That he doesn't want to just win the Premier League. So best believe he's going to be going for that FA Cup tomorrow. Best believe that. He doesn't want a single. He's not a single man. He wants to win uh, double trophies, triple trophies, which he did the season, uh, uh, last season. The last year, last year. This is he won the trip, the treble. He wants to win multiple trophies he's a multiple trophy winner so for him to just win the, the premier league that's not really a th that's no nah, he's not going to be happy with that and plus when when pep is in a, a final man he's going to go for that final he's going to go for that final so these he's going to st that is he's, this let's let's be honest that this man city side is going to be very it's going to be very strong it's not going to be a weak, wimpy side with Oscar Bob in there. And even if Oscar Bob played in there, he's going to be surrounded by experienced players around him. Because the Bruyne will be playing. Hoyland will... Hoyland. Haaland will be playing for Manchester City. Doku may start. And if Doku starts... Him, I mean, Doku... I'm not really worried about Doku. The only thing I'm this is where I, this is where I worry. If Doku is starting on the left hand side, this is the only thing I worry about Doku. If Doku is giving a lot of space, and Wan Bissaka is, is is trying to run back, he's he's going to get cooked. Because Doku thrives in space. Now, Doku like Rashford, like a lot of our wingers, when when space is shriveled up, when there is no space, that's where this comes in and if you don't have pace and if you don't have football iq this is going to be dead because you, you don't know what to do in that in that moment pace is like your advantage and because your advantage has been cut off which is a space 
and you don't have the space to exploit the pace that you're usually given, you're not going to play your best game. And that is where Doku can be ineffective. So if you go play a defensive, if you if you, if 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 one Mister is on his game and don't give him space, he'll have a field day with Doku. Now Doku will pass him a few times because Doku is strong and quick. But I'm not expecting Doku to have. And let me just get into what well, I've been getting into preview. But I am not expecting um, Doku to have a full feely against Wambisaka because Wambisaka is a very good 1v1 and if Sterling in his prime had problems with Wambisaka what makes you think Doku go, go, go have a, a good feely again if he's given space then it's going to be a problem for us and Wambisaka but if there is no space given to Doku to exploit it could be ineffective so it's going to be based on who Peps plays now let us go to the camp of Manchester United now I know I've been talking about Man City but I'm saying this to set the precedent of what I'm about to say about Manchester United. Is me. So with Manchester United now, seeing that Man City will be playing their one their strongest. I mean, this is their last game of the season, man. So of course they're going to play them probably second to best strongest eleven. Um again, they're not called the Champions League. They're not they're not in Champions League. So this is going to be their last game of the season. So with that being said, we have to have a strong starting eleven. Yes, we have. Do we cannot? We cannot do that performance we did against. Who is it against? Uh, this side that now called Wolves, man. I'm, 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 was it against Coventry at Wem at Wembley? We two nil up or three nil up, and him go equalize and him go take the lead. But it was offside, and by the looks of it, it wasn't an offside. The goal wasn't offside. But them go, them go retract it because they didn't want Manchester United to look embarrassed and get knocked out by this young side in the Champions Championship or in the first league, in in the, in in League One or whatever. You see me? So we can't pull off that. We can't pull off that score against Man City, man. Because if we go try to pull off that score, they're gonna score a lot of goals against us because our defense is weak. So we can't allow that to happen, man. I hope we we'll, we'll, I hope we have learned our lesson that we can't concede in less than ten seconds from last season with Gundogan's goal. At least promise me that much. Give me that assurance, please. I'm even asking. I don't want to be conceding in ten seconds, man. What 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 the hell is that? Last season, because that goal basically gave us a slap in the face, and that destroyed our mood now i won't say mood but what i'm saying is that it destroyed like our like our game plan went through the window type deal that that's the type of thing i'm talking about so it's like a comment it's like you have a fist fight against all right let's say i'm jake paul zine and i'm going to have this uh this this uh this boxing match with mike tyson in july i don't have my quote and go game plan less than 10 seconds this, this will give me a blowout my game plan is through the window because I got I got knocked out. You understand? So that is why I saw it with Man City last season. Now, again, man, this season, at least if you go lose, at least let us lose with us going out with dignity. Not considering less than 10 seconds, man. No. So, yeah, I'm not... Me seeing all of this, you may be seeing, bro, I'm guessing you, you don't think we're going to win against Man City. Duh, I don't expect us to win against Man City. I haven't been hiding that. I don't believe we're going to beat Man City tomorrow. Like I said, but I just said, mentioned reasons. Man City's last game of the season. They have only won the Premier League this season. And by record book states, man, Pep is not a single hand. Pep doesn't like to win a single trophy in one single season. He wants to win more, double, double at bare minimum. So he's going to be taking this final seriously tomorrow. He's not going to overthink it. This is not the Champions League final. He's, he's not going to overthink it against some dude named Eric Ten Hag that was his right-hand man at Bayern, Bayern Munich a decade back. He's not going to do that, man. So the fact is, 
in what does this mean for Manchester United? This means for Manchester United that we start our best eleven. If you go if you go get beaten, let's get beaten with our starting eleven and let us uh Yeah man, just like a man with a death, death wish man, knowing that, knowing that you're going to get beaten, you know you go you go get clip. At least go to some dignity, man. Play our best eleven tomorrow, man. Play the player start Varan tomorrow. His last game and he's our best one of our best centre backs anyway. So start him with um I don't want I don't want Maguire to start tomorrow, to be honest. Again, bro, Maguire is a time ticking bomb. You don't know what you're going to get with him. He's very unpredictable. Not in a good way. You see me? You don't know you don't know if he's you're gonna get a a a what a, a piss poor performance from him tomorrow. An average performance from him tomorrow. Or he might even have one of those uh Duncan Edward performance. Like he's oh, you know, this is the English Best centre back. Yes, this is what we have wanted from Armagoy all these years. So we don't know we don't know what we're gonna get with him. But to be sure to take proactive precaution, I'm going with Varan and Martinez. That is our best centre back appearing on paper and on the football pitch. I don't want to be hearing no and again I didn't listen to no press conference and I don't want to listen to no press conference, but I don't want to be hearing oh Varan cannot play. You know, I know this is going to be his last game and his last day at Manchester United his last day. But you know, it's it's a tactical decision, though. Dude, I don't want to be hearing all that nonsense. I don't want to be hearing all that nonsense. Play this guy. Start this guy tomorrow, Varan. Start him with um. I'm losing my. Starting with Martinez, and of course that was left back, our best player this season, and on the right hand side Wan Bissaka. Of course, an honor in goal, because we don't have any better keeper. And there are a lot of goalkeepers better than him in world football. In midfield, this has not been Casemiro's best season by 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 any stretch, as Uncle Jack from Breaking Bad would say, not by a damn sight. But start him still. Like I, like I say, man, start the best uh start the best lineup, man. Casemiro. Kobe Mino. I don't know. I do not want to be seen my Tommy start. Stop this madness. Kobe Mino, Casemiro, Bruno Fernandez. That's the midfield three. Ahmad Yol on the right hand side, yes, he will be starting. On the left hand side, I am I'm seeing Garnacho start. Rashford will not be starting. Garnacho has a lot of desire. If he does if there's if he if this if this guy has no talent about him, no football IQ, he has desire and it shows. He has desire. He wants to show, you know, he wants to show it. He wants to make his name known. So even if you think that Garnacho is the worst signing, the worst winger we have had since Bebe in 2010. At least give him that respect, so this guy has desire. He has more desire than Rashford. So at least start him, you know, start him on the left hand side. Rashford, Rashford head is gone, man. He's, I guess he's just out of love with football, man. He's emotionally attached out of football. I think I'm going to do a Rashford video sometime this month or next month, but because this has to be spoken about. Um, Say Rashford and Rashford. Ganache on the left hand side. Up top is I know I said that I want Marcel to play, which he will play in the final tomorrow. Let's he will play tomorrow. Cause this will be his last game. He'd want to not play him in his last game. Like what what you doing? Hoyle will be starting though. I don't see no two striker formation tomorrow. I do lately. Do not don't try to be experiment experimenting last minute. Talk about day two striker. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Hmm? Do not be doing that last minute, man. Yes, you want to start your best striker, but at the same time, you want to, you want to play one of Manchester United's best strikers in the previous years because tomorrow's his last game. Half Hoyle and start. Start with a proactive plan. We don't know how much fit Martial is, man. So best play him out for the bench, is me? Yeah, man, bring him out for the bench, man. Um, hmm. I, I burst this worm, now it's coming out. 
Mm. All is freaking blood. But um, yeah, so hoil and up top, that's my sort. Leave your sort levels in the comment section below. Leave your comment sections below. And if you have been watching up until this point, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload. My scoreline is um, we're going to lose. Yes, I've said that we're going to lose, so I'm going to sit by it because that's my gut instinct thought. We're going to lose. It's not going to be a clean sheet. I believe we're going to score a goal. Ooh, hooray. At least we get a, you know, like, like I said, bro, if you're going to lose, let us lose with dignity. Let us not lose with them getting a clean sheet, man. So let us at least get a goal, man. This is me. I prefer us to score an equalizer than to take the lead and him go beat us two, two or three goals after that. And we were leading. Let's not. i rather them equalize. i rather we equalize and him go take it somewhere down the line in the second half. But anyway, I see us losing 3 1. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll see us losing 3 0 tomorrow in the FA Cup final. Um, yeah, man. And to me, guys, may I be asking, like, dude, aren't you a Manchester United supporter? Why are you not supporting Manchester United in beating Manchester, Manchester, Manchester United's biggest rival? Manchester, why, why are you backing Man City? Why are you, why, why are you saying Man City go beat us tomorrow? What did I say in this video? Because I'm a realist, man. They're going to beat us. I just stated at least five or four reasons why Man City will beat us tomorrow. And I'm not going to go over them, man. The mere fact, I'll go over them. Man City has just won the Premier League this season. They're out of the Champions League, so they're kind of sore about that. They have this fire in their belly trying to prove somewhat of a point. It may be a, it may be a pointless point they're trying to prove, but the fact is that Pep Guardiola is not going to just want to win one trophy in one season. That's not the type of manager he is. A lot of managers will, will you know, get wet over winning one trophy. That's not Pep Guardiola, man. He wants to win multiple trophies. So basically, if he's going to start his best 11, I'll just give you three reasons. The fourth reason is that um, this is one of their, their worst seasons. Honestly, this is one of their worst seasons. And it's against Man City. So who better to beat again in the FA Cup final other than your noisy neighbors? So it's going to be a fiery rivalry game tomorrow. And let's be honest, in in years past, in 2011, man, Man City go beat us in the FA Cup final, man. Balotelli was like the, the villain in that game. I think Ferdinand was about to kill this guy. This guy was get, was about to get killed by Ferdinand in the final after the full time whistle. They go beat us last year. I know we're going to play against them tomorrow, and they're going to beat us tomorrow. Our saving grace that we have tomorrow is God, and secondly, the Fox and Marcel is going to be play his last game. So he might, with the the, the 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 little bit of gas that is left in his tank, he's going to put it out tomorrow. Even even though he will not start, in my opinion, I don't believe he will be starting. But if he comes on, he's gonna he's gonna show out. Marcel has a decent record against Man City in our competition, Premier League, whatever. Um, Varane, Varane is gonna play like Nesta tomorrow, man. He's gonna put on he's gonna put on his Nesta boots and play like Nesta. He's gonna play like the world class defender that he was in his prime. Hopefully, he'll not get injured because, oh, I'm, man, hey. Like I say, if you go lose him, I lose, lose with, with dignity, man. I don't want this Bridging to get no injury, uh, you know, freaking final, man, in his last game at the club, man. That's not the best way to go out. So, with all of that being said, I don't see Man City losing that final tomorrow. And some person goes, well, the thing is, you know, uh, Man, when Man City players were, were, were celebrating their Premier League win, some of them look inebriated, look like they're drunk and so forth. Dude, they can't sit back off, man. That's days ago. Haaland looked like he couldn't... I don't even know... I, this dude lost his beard. I don't even think he knew where he was walking. 
okay that's days ago i'm pretty sure he's over because they're in training right now getting prepared for the game tomorrow so all of that no matter right now man that's all of that has been died down it is um what you call it it's gone man it's gone so in wrapping up this video the fact we're gonna lose this game bro I, I I see it from a mile away, and it could get ugly. It could get ugly. I'm I'm, I'm I say a three nil loss to my, in Man City's favor, at a five nil win in their favor. I don't want them to beat us five nil. No, in a final, no, 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 no. But I can say this: they're going to be beating us tomorrow. If you have any thoughts, if you have any opposing thoughts, post them down in the comment section below. And we'll have, a, we'll have a go at it. I have some time today. We'll have a go at it. So, yeah. In relation to everything else, game plan um, is to counter a counter attack. That's something I should have mentioned in this video. I, just, I did a lot of rambling. But let us talk about our game plan before I wrap up. Our game plan tomorrow. It's counter attack. That's the best card we can play. That's the best bullet we can shoot. We're not going to be playing like no FC Barcelona in 2011 against no Man City side, man. Pep was the manager of Man City of Barcelona in 2011, so we can't pull that off against him. Because we'll have the players for that. We'll have the technical capabilities to play that type of football. And that's not Manchester United's MO. So the best card to play is counter attack. But I said this. This game, although I said it in the, in the in the first seconds of the of this video, I'm gonna say it again. This game is going to further con convince Radcliffe and his right man Brills for that everything hog is just a dead man walking. He needs to be sacked. He's not going to be competent enough to lead us forward for next season under this new regime. So he needs to get the boot, man. He needs to get sacked. He needs to join uh, 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 Xavi and, you know, stay in the manage managing pool, man, who just got sacked, man. Mm. Say with Pochettino, I know Pochettino got, you know, he, he left. Man, hey, man, put him in that group, man. And put him with there with, with Tuko. Tuko out a job or with Bayern now. Put him with Klopp. Klopp, Klopp leave Liverpool. Put him in a cap, cap, cap fish, man. So, yeah. Tomorrow, counter-attack. Man City's defense. We can't beat Man City's defense for pace. Especially on the, the left hand side. Ganacho. 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 Ganacho better not try. No, bet, hey, Ganacho better not try nothing. And secular about his game tomorrow against Kyle Walker. Because as old as Kyle Walker is, if there is one thing Kyle Walker has, I was just talking about if, if there is no talent Ganacha had, but he has desire, that's the only thing he has, that's desire. If he had no talent, no nothing, because he actually has, he has work rate, he has work ethic. But with Walker, if there is nothing, if there is one thing Walker has alone, and that is recovery pace, so even if what if if Gonacho go go beat a uh 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 go do a skill and kill him, that's going to be short lived because Walker is going to catch up with him anyway and he's going to go go slide tackling, and it's going to be a throwing. But go go for throwing. Or if Gonacho go try something or tell you do to go beat him, then good on. But I'm saying don't try don't try nothing, and secular with Walker man. Walker is going to catch you up, as far as Garviol and the. Are the fullback for Man City and um, Ahmad Diallo? I think he can catch out Ahmad Diallo, but the game plan is this counter attack. Let us counter attack. That's the best, that's the game, best game plan we have for Man City, bro. We can't play football against Man We're not going to have most of the ball position, so don't think that we will. We won't. We won't. We won't, man. Leave your comments below in the comment section, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing a match reaction tomorrow as well. 
wait if i do my match reaction should i do manchester united's overall season review in my match reaction because that's going to be long it's going to be an oh i'm going to tell you that from now it's going to be quite lengthy so i'm wondering if i should do this season overview you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do everything tomorrow yeah I'd, yeah i'm gonna do everything tomorrow um so yeah um so stick on so for that video get your popcorn get a champagne you know enjoy yourself be entertained like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you tomorrow i'm out